Welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Let's provide an answer to this question and the function and relation. So we have two functions are defined by f and g. So the function of f of x is 2x squared minus 1. That of g of x is 2x plus 3x plus 2. Where the value of x is given as what? A real number. Our task is to find the value of x if the function f of x plus 1 minus 7 gives us what? 0. That simply means this will create an equation for which we can find the value of what? x. Now we know under function we can be asked to find the images. For example, if I have a function f of x equals to x plus 1. I can be asked to find the image of x as in the set where x is given as 1, 2, 3. So if I'm asked to find the image of 1, 2, 3 for x, it means everywhere I see x, I have the x here. So if I change my x with 1, it means in the relation, the value of x must also change to what? 1. And it's where you find image. So whatever value of x I'm having, whatever happened to the x, if the image change to 1, the value of x must also take effect. Alright. But you can see here, this is an expression, x plus 1. So it means that if x is multiplied by 4, and I'm having the x now being increased by 1. It is the x that will be increased by 1. Therefore, in the relation, this x will also be increased by 1. It is still x, as we can see. x, 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 but the x is now increased by 1. So we increase it by 1 before we write the 1. So that is exactly what we are going to do here. We will take the function f of x plus 1. Find its image. What will I get if I increase the x by 1? So in this case, when I take the first one, as in this case, so f x plus 1 is going to be, I am moving to the function, 2 into bracket, I am increasing the value of x by 1. So it will be x plus 1. But don't forget that x is squared in the relation. So that value is going to be squared before I will effect my minus 1. I believe you get it. If you find the image, whatever is in the bracket of f goes into the position of what? x. And whatever changes that the x is having, whether square or creep, we have that effect also to the image. Alright, so in this case, I am going to expand this bracket as in my 2 is going to open with what? x plus 1 times x plus 1. We close it, then minus 1. I know from here, we can still expand this without actually what? Uh, opening it. I will have to say square the first, twice their product, square the last. So in this case, I'll be having 2 into bracket x times x that gives me x squared so x times 1 is x so I have my x 1 times x will still give me x then 1 times 1 will also give me what? 1 then I have my minus 1 alright so now we can simplify the 1 in the bracket to have 2 x squared, x plus x, give us 2x, then I have my plus 1, minus 1. Don't forget, I did not use this minus 1 to cancel this, because this is also supposed to be multiplied by what? 2. So now I can expand this to have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus 1. So step by step. You perform the one in a bracket, 
then use the coefficient to multiply, then you can perform your subtraction. So I can see 2 minus 1, that will give me my 1. So 2x squared plus 1. That is for only function f of x plus 1. Don't forget, it is having minus 7 equals 0. So if So we are going to replace the whole of this with that expression that we are having. So that become 2x squared, 4x plus 1, minus 7 equals to what? 0. Don't forget you can introduce your 7 and a 0 in the beginning, as in this place. And solve it together, you will end up getting the same thing. Whether we do it first of this, before bringing the equation. So now I can still perform an operation here. So I have 2x squared plus 4x. I think this will give us minus 6 equals to 0. So this is 1 minus 7. 7 is bigger than 1. So we have a negative answer. So this becomes a quadratic equation. Because I have x squared. x and a constant. Don't forget, I can see 2, 4, 6. There's a common factor that can divide all the three terms. So I divide through to half. Divide through by what? So I'll be having x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. So this is where we factorize. We look for factors of negative 3. When you add, you have to get 2. And in one of my videos, I explain. The moment here is negative and here is positive. It means the smallest factor must be what? Negative. Among the two factors I'm looking for, one must be negative but the smallest one. So factors of 3 will just be 3 and what? 1. If I need negative 3, it means either 3 is negative or it is the one that is negative. If I multiply this, minus 3. Multiply this, minus 3. If I add this, I get minus 2. If I add this, I get what? Positive 2. So it means these are my factors. 3 and minus 1. So, so we are going to have the minus 1 will have effect in the x because we are replacing this with that factor. Then plus 3x minus 3 equals to 0. We are only replacing the positive 2x by the two factors we mentioned. Don't forget, if I compute this, minus x plus 3x, I get back my positive 2x. Alright, so we group the first two as in x squared, x in one bracket, 3x, 3 in another one bracket. So what do we do? We look for common factor. And when you are looking for common factor of variables, you pick the one with the smallest power. So this is power 2, power 1. So x in bracket multiplied by x to give him back my x squared minus 1. 1 times x give me x. Common factor here, 3, 3. So 3 multiplying x to give him back my 3x minus 1 equals to zero so we have common factor x minus one x minus one so we take that common factor out we are left with only x plus what three equals to zero so we know we have zero property of four real numbers if two brackets are multiplied to give you zero it means either one is negative or the other is negative so that means x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals what? 0. So what do we do? So now from here we have our x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. So if you add 1 to both sides, your x becomes just what? 1. 
or if you subtract 3 from both sides, x becomes what? Minus 3. So the question we are asked to find the value of x. It means the value of x in this equation is either 1 or what? Minus 3. I believe you've gotten it. So you take your time. We were starting or we started with relation, but we end into a quadratic equation. You take your time, you expand, find the values, perform your integers, then your operations, you finally get to your answer. Okay. Now we are moving to the second aspect, which is finding the image of x as negative half of g as what? 3, 5, 4 for f. So let's see how best we can do that. Alright, so for the second part, as we can see, we are going to start with the images. So we know the function this is what is translated to become f of x equals to 2x squared minus 1. So if I want to find the image of this, I only replace my x with what? Minus half. So f into bracket minus half equals to 2 in place of x. I have minus half, the x is squared. So I only put the values of x as minus half. Whatever is operated on the x still has to be operated on what? The minus half. Alright, so this place, our answer is here going to be we square the numerator and square the denominator. This simply means half times half. Negative half times negative half will give you a positive answer. So 1 times 1, 1, 1 will be 1, then 2 times 2 will be what? 4, then minus 1. So inside this place, either I use 2 to multiply 1 divided by 4, or I cancel 2 with 4. So when we this can go here 2 times. So I have 1 over 2 minus 1. Don't forget, 1 is bigger than half. So if I'm subtracting 1 from half, I should be getting what? Negative half. Or better still, you look for this to be over 1. So you look for the LCM. Going to be 2. Then 2 goes in there, 1. Then times 1. 1 goes in there, 2. So we are going to have 1 minus 2, which will be minus 1 over 2. All right. So now let's go for f of 4. So it means in the same relation, it becomes 2x, which is now what? 4 squared minus what? 1. I believe you get it from the same relation. Where I see x, I put what? 4. So it becomes 2, 4 squared is 4 times 4, not 4 times 2. So for 4, I have 16 minus 1. So now 2 multiply 16 to give us 32 minus 1. And that gives us what? 31. So it means the image of 4 under this relation is 31. So now we move to the function g of f. So this is now translated to become 3x plus 2 equals sign will come. So this x is what is having here. So if I'm looking for image of 3, it means g of 3 equals to 3x and my x is not 3 plus what? 2. Whenever I see x, I replace with the image. So this gives me 9 plus 2 and that will end up giving us what? 11. I believe you are following. Alright. So now we move to this as the gene of 5 image. So the relation is still 3x and my x is now 5 plus what? 2. 3, 2. If I multiply this, I'll be having 15 plus 2 equals to 17. So, first of all, we started with 
the image of f as a negative half, image of f as in 4, that of g to be 3, and 5. So we have gotten our values. Each of the values I have derived is here. So I only substitute into the main uh, expression I'm asked to find. That is, in place of this, in place of this, I'll be introducing my negative half. This means multiplication. So this is multiplying that of G of 3, which is what? 11 over the f of 4 which is going to give us 31 minus g of 5 which is also 17 all right after solving this before you do your substitution this relation must be written first because i don't have space so when you get to this place before you do your substitution you must quote the relation or the expression given to you first before you do the substitution, okay, we don't have enough space. So, so in this case, this is a constant 11. We'll multiply the 1 divided by 2. So, it's going to be minus 11 over 2 divided by, if you subtract this, I believe we get uh, 15 or 16. Let's see. If, okay, 14. So let's say it is 14, this will be 11 to 1. So we have 14. So this is going to be 14. But don't forget, we are having double division. So we turn this one to become a division sign, which can later on change to multiplication. So we are having negative 11 over 2 divided by what? 14 as changing this to division sign the 14 is divided by what 1 so if i change this to multiplication it becomes 11 as a negative over 2 times this is flip over so 1 over 14 we flip the second fraction as you change your division to what multiplication so in this case negative 11 times 1 i still get negative 11 2 times 14 will give me 28. So, at the long round, the value of this, the evaluation of this, is just negative 11 over 22. Alright, so this is under function and relation. So, when you take the question, finding the image of whatever you are giving, just perform that substitution step by step, then you arrive at your answer. I'll uh, indulge you to take a question similar to this. Try to transfer the knowledge you just uh, received and see if you can solve that kind of question. Practice make perfect the same. So keep on practice. This still remain Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Let's share this link or share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell so that anytime a video is uploaded, you receive a notification and you watch. Share with your colleagues. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.